Good morning, Jody. Good morning, Facebook viewers. Hope everybody's doing well. Happy Friday. It's almost Christmas. Um, doing a 2021 Ventana today, 3407 floor plan. Uh, this one here is, if you're looking for a shorter coach and you want to go diesel, this is a this is a great option for you. And we've got lots of 40 up to 45 foot motorhomes on the lot, but this one, if you're wanting to step up from a, let's say a 35 foot gas motorhome and get into a diesel, but stay around that same same size, this is a great option for you. Um, let's uh, let's start over here, Jody. I'll, we'll start out with the stock number here. <clears throat> so we're gonna do five in two zero one two seven three. And to start out here in the front here, so this particular uh, Ventana, it does come with uh, the 8,000 watt diesel generator. And you see, I've got the hood latch up, so it's easy to access everything inside here. You've got a hot water line here. It's in the generator location. Um, if you travel a good three, 400 mile trip, you got a lot of bugs on the windshield, you can hook up a hose there that helps clean off the front of the coach there. Air horns are located under here. And this one here, if you pan out this way, Jody, the um, the exterior color of this one is the Belmont Graphics. So a few years back, uh, Ventana had a kind of lifestyle change. It's been a they added the rooftop awnings, kind of like the Dutch Star has. Um, it's got the Gerard Nova package on the other side. It's a cold, windy day today, so I'm gonna leave the, leave the awnings in. But again, like I always start out here, talk about this first compartment here. This is where your wiring harness, some fuses are located. A lot of that's tied into the chassis. This is a Freightliner chassis. It's got a 360 horsepower Cummins diesel engine, 800 foot pounds of torque. You've got a 100 gallon fuel tank. <clears throat> If you see below here, this one has the propane tank. So there's there's some features on this one. When we go inside, I'll talk about it. Does it does have the um, the Oasis hydronic heat system, which that heats the coach. That also heats your hot water, gives you continuous hot water. This is just the opposite side of the slide tray that's going to slide in and out on both sides. The next bay there, there's the Oasis. And we've got some storage off to the right there. The water bay station here. Um, they've, you've got the printed, it's, a, it's got the stainless steel look backing here. It's your dump station. You've got a pull out water, uh, water retractable hose. With, you can, or excuse me, it retracts back in. So as I pull that in, I can push the button and that brings it back in. A whole house water filtration system here, outdoor shower. Uh, again, we give training on these, so if you do buy one from us, we kind of walk you through how all this, these systems do operate. <clears throat> In the back here, it's your diesel exhaust fuel is, is located here. It also has just a little bit of a outside storage area, a great place to keep your gloves, hoses, things it's got a little drain down below there if you want to keep things for the dump station area, you can put it in there. That diesel exhaust fuel tank is a 10 gallon tank. The next bay you've got a your pull out 50 amp retractable uh, power cord with the transfer switches located here. Some no, no waste of space, you get a little bit more storage here. On the Freightliners now, you've got this one. This particular coach is rated. I was looking at the specs this morning. The, the specs on this one are rated up to 5,000 pound tow rating on it. Uh, this is your hitch uh, to hook up the your tow bars, tow vehicle, seven-way plug. It's pre-wired for brake controller, and down below here you've got an air air chuck there as well. So we come around this side here. I'll point out the door. This does have the egress door in the rear bath, uh, the rear bathroom. And um, this location here is your, these are your cranking batteries on the engine. This is your toggle to turn the, turn these batteries on and off for storing. It's 
some more storage. On the back here, so you've got, these are 305, 22 and a half tires, Alcoa rims. Um, they're all aluminum. Also, the, the, rear, the, the rear brakes on this are the air drum brakes and uh, the, the front is the air disc brakes on the, on, the, on the Ventana 3709 floor plan. We've got a 105 gallon fresh water tank located right in front of the drive axle here. So a lot of that weight here is in a good location but instead of the side of a tank you got a nice pegboard to hang tools. Just a place to hang items there. You got a three-quarter slide tray here that backs up to your oasis on the other side. And then some of these controls in here are some slide out, some slide control modules, awning control modules. And you've got some electrical plugs in there as well. And you've got the pull out. Again, you got the pull out tray. This goes all the way through on both sides. And then this front bay here, it's pre-wired, 12 volt and 110. If someone wants to add a refrigerator freezer combo on the slide tray on the outside here, uh, you can. And then 43-inch um, Samsung TV, new for 2021. These do tilt down now. If you were sitting down low, you can aim, get that glare off of the TV there. So that's a nice feature that they've done. Let's go inside and get out of this cold wind. All right, Jody, as you're coming in here, so this is a gorgeous interior. Uh, I love this one. This one actually is the Newport Glazed Maple Hardwood Matte Finish Cabinetry. Um, and if you get a, kind of come in on close on these, on the hardware here, it's kind of a great look. It's got that kind of um, carbon fiber look on all your hardware. Really nice detail that they do there. You've got all Corian countertops here. Um, <clears throat> This one has the fireplace with the 55 inch LED smart TV, Samsung television. Here's some of your new, um, new colors. We're in the Belmont exterior. We've got some more units on order. For those of you that are interested in a different floor plan or wanting to know what we might have coming in on order, uh, give me a call. I'll be happy to look up and see what we have um, in the queue. Set that over here. Got a convection microwave oven. You get your three burner, three burner cooktop. So down, down earlier we were looking at that propane tank. So we've kept the standard three burner cooktop. A lot of times you'll see these coaches we order in, we make them all electric. So this, for, for those of you that like to have the propane cooktop, this one has it. So, and, and if you come around here, Jody, for those of you that are familiar with some of the Numars we've ordered and talked about in the past, it still has your Oasis hydronic heat system. So I've got the burner to turn my heat on uh, to, to heat the coach off the diesel boiler and I have my two electric elements as well. So as long as the, the burner's on or my electric elements are on, I go into my HVAC over here on the right hand side, tap HVAC, I'm going to power it on and I just basically just toggle it through to either heat pumps or furnace. Furnace mode is going to be off of the Oasis when that's running. I'm going to run it right now. It's not too bad in here. But you got your um, 2800 watt pure sign magnum inverter, slide controls, step on off switch, energy management system here. There's the Gerard controls on this side here. Um, this is your entrance door awning. And up top here, that is, that's the um, Wi-Fi. So you got Wi-Fi Sky Pro LTE cell router. And uh, if you, for those that have a, have lots of, uh, computers and laptops and phones that want to tap into your Wi-Fi this one has it you know we just you need you to supply the SIM card and we can set all that up for you um, we didn't opt for the overhead TV here so um, usually you'll see a, a 43 inch TV here so this one has the storage up, up front here which is nice <clears throat> come down here So this has the the new Freightliner um, uh, OptiView digital dashboard. You've got the 
backup camera, side cameras right here, all color monitor. Um, this, this system here is your infotainment center. Um, it's for your AM, FM, Bluetooth, stereo system, GPS, navigation, Ram McNally maps. Um, it's got a little bit of storage down below here. Both of these seats are, are six-way power seats. They both have footrests. So if you want to swivel them around to face the living room and kind of join this area, uh, makes a nice makes join, uh, makes a nice little living area. As you pan around this side, Jody, we've got this is a pull-out sleeper sofa, new for 2021. Um, it the sofas. I won't. If you want to uh, see a demonstration, I'll certainly show it to you. Just give me a call. But it does have the gel mattress instead of the air mattress, and then your roller shades. All throughout, you've got the day and night shade, MCD roller shades. Got some good storage overhead. This one has the booth dinette. This does come out. You've got the leg here, pops down. Stay right there, I'll grab these, show you how this works. You've got, there's two leaves. I'm just gonna grab one, but to give you an idea. There's two of these guys, fit right in here. And there's two folding chairs to join the table that are underneath the bed here. I'll leave that up, so when we get back there, we'll show you that one. You got the all electric Whirlpool refrigerator. It's got, Newmar puts his nice little slide lock here. So, come and take a look at storage you got. You got the ice maker down below. Good storage up top. And then when you want to travel, shut everything off. Slide that little lock over. Keeps everything tight. And then this is the 3709 is a is a bath and a half floor plan with a king size bed. We'll open this up here. And I was gonna point something out. So Jody if you you notice up top as you're going in here so your breakers and your fuses are up high out of reach for children it's easy to get to for the owner of the coach you're not having to crawl up underneath a bed to get to your fuses to get to your house breakers even with the slides in and this is your half bath and come around back to the master bedroom uh, we've got some good storage wardrobe storage they went to a last year they had the 36 inch LED TV was standard on the Ventana this year they've gone to the larger 43 inch LED Samsung LED television that's something new for 2021 there's some more wardrobe storage on this side that can get out of the way See full extension drawer glides, soft clothes. Those two, same thing. This one here pops down. You've got a, you've got an adjustable shelf here. If you want to add a receiver in the back, a game system, hook it up. It's all set up for you. And then it does have the Blu-ray player down below. Multiplex lighting throughout. So you have these panels to operate your. All your lighting, some of your fan controls are, are in that as well. Uh, you've got the sliding pocket door here to close off the bedroom. Here's your two folding chairs under the bed. And that little pump in the back there is telling me this has the optional sleep number mattress. You shut this. Electrical outlets with USB ports on both sides of the bed. Something else I always like to point out. You got the electrical outlet inside your cabinetry overhead here. Those of you have the sleeping machines. You can run run your lines out. You can have your um, 
got a slave machine up here and run your lines out the base here. And now also over on this side here, you've got some more multiplex lighting systems here. Reading lights, bedroom lights, all your controls are there. We'll come to the back here. So for those that like to keep all your storage, we've opted to not get the optional stackable washer dryer. For those of you that want to have the stackable washer dryer, it's plumbed. You can see it's plumbed for it. We can easily have that installed here at, um, at our dealership. Good medicine cabinet storage here. Lots of good counter space. We've got that up. There's the other leaf. Um, this is more wardrobe storage in the back. And then you've got, if you want to come in on this side, Jody, one's kind of tight. You've got pretty good size radius storage or radius shower. And uh, this has the, the AquaView water saving system. So it does have that 105 gallon fresh water tank, but it also will, um, you can turn this valve here. Um, this will change colors when the water's hot. So you're not wasting your water while you're waiting for the water to get hot. Um, if you do a lot of dry camping. Speaking of tank, um, water, so fresh water is 105 gallons. It'll come out here. Uh, they've gone, they've changed the holding tank sizes for 2021. You, last year was 65 gallons on the gray water, 45 gallons on the black. This year, 75 gray, 55 black. Let's see. Um, that should just about wrap up most of the information on us. Check this out. I didn't go over this. At the appliance garage, a little outlet in there. Keep your coffee maker stored away over there, or toaster oven. I think I failed to go over this part. We're not done yet, guys. I apologize. <laughs> <clears throat> so you got a double, double sink, nice deep sinks, stainless steel. More storage here, full extension drawer glide. Good storage underneath. You've got a place to keep your trash can under here. Store that out of the way. And since you've got, well, dishwasher is available on some of these floor plans, but without the dishwasher, you've got some nice deep drawers here. Again, soft glide, soft closed drawer glides. So I think that does about wrap this one up. Um, I hope everybody has a great weekend. If you have interest in anything I've got on the lot here, this particular RV or any others out there, please give me a call. You can reach me on my cell phone at 720-539-4711. Shoot me an email at grussell at transwest.com. Happy Friday. Have a good weekend. Thanks, guys.